Alright, so this is a weekly reading for Gemini. I have channeled some things for you. And there, there's something in here that's something I channeled that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me right now. But it will make sense to you later on, I'm sure. Um, so we'll get to that and we'll get into um, a, a thing I channeled about uh, your personal relationship, which is quite interesting, I must say. Um, so, your first card is going to be the Justice card in reverse. Justice card in reverse, let's see, um, it has to do with something either freezing or something being renewed. Um, so, let's see. Stop the fussing about the past and changing your point of view. There is a new view to be taken for what you've experienced. Um, part of it is going to lead you into a new world. So you're going to have to put away any holdups from the past or any memories, any um, inconsistencies with your past or past relationships that might be a hindrance on your mental health or how you feel about yourself. Um, because the cycles are changing. Um, especially for Gemini. There's a dual system that kind of goes into an affinity loop and it's in Gemini at the moment. So there, there's going to be a lot of cycles that you're going through, but it's a different cycle than what you're used to. So depending if you're a May or June Gemini, um, the infinity symbol is in the May area of Gemini rising. So it would be on, I believe, the right twin in the constellation. So as far as you know, somebody's going to have a different cycle. Somebody's going to have a constant that is going to kind of make events happen around them that are different for you. So probably be a lot of excitement. Um, so the beginning of the week, I do not have a card for this energy. Like I said, it's a mysterious energy. No cards came out when I asked this question, what's going to happen at the beginning of the week? So I got a mysterious energy, tried to describe it. Um, so a recognition for something good, emotions that you can control, um, intuition used for good deeds and positive cycles. Um, this had what looked like a, a clock, but it was the moon. It could be, um, a biological clock. It could be a time of the month for some people, um, because I'm not doing men or women in this uh, reading. Um, there, there could be a change in mentality, morality, um, job, um, relationships with people, or the sands of time could be catching up to you. Um, the moon a lot of times in readings will kind of cluster more towards the death card than the high priestess. So right now I feel like it's dead center. So depending on what's happening in your life right now, it could go one of two ways. Either your intuition is going to make you feel bad or your intuition is going to make you feel excited or a little bit nervous. So depending on what exactly your milestones are in your life, there's going to be a different uh, motion towards your future. So depending on what's happening, um, you might have lost a relative or somebody um, who is a mentor to, to you and that's kind of... It kind of goes with the mysterious energy. Okay, so there, there's a lot going on in this small span of time for you. 
It could also be a change in mentality or a friendship um, that kind of drifted um, apart um, because of certain obstacles. Um, so the middle of the week, we have the emperor in reverse, of course. Um, there's going to be a lot of wind. Um, either hot air from somebody talking your ear off or just chatty conversation. So, if you have an urge to call somebody names or a lash out at somebody verbally, hold, hold it back for now. If you don't, both parties will go through a painful experience. So, I believe that somebody in your life is going through a lot. They're going through a lot of emotional um, rebuilding, a lot of physical rebuilding, and a lot of spiritual rebuilding. And if you were to <laughs> kind of um, give them a piece of your mind, maybe you're disgruntled about something or another, um, they're, they're going to be offended, okay? And they're not going to like you too much, and you're not going to like yourself too much after this, because you're going to hurt somebody who is very vulnerable at the moment. And people, when they're vulnerable, they attack you at the jugular, kind of like a wolf would if you leave your neck exposed. So, do not <laughs> say anything at the middle of the week. Um, you might have to find out what they're going through before you um, find a way to tell them about your own grievances. There's a very tactful way of doing things. I think... That's part of learning um, to be an adult. You have to kind of read the room a little bit. Uh, believe you me, sometimes I miss the mark too. It's, it's no big deal. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care. But um, yeah, you might actually want to because this could be a friend or family member of yours. Um, so the end of the week, we have the Four of Swords. You might need rest after this week. Um, October 13th and 22nd is going to be a very hard time. I feel like work's involved. So at the end of the week, um, there's going to be a strong belief or overcoming an obstacle or an obstacle of beliefs of strong spirit or evolving. Um, even if you are on the verge of giving up, you're on the high level of energy that can still help you achieve your goals. So... It's just going from one thing to the next. I feel like you have a lot of goals. It's just trying to get a lot out of a particular day or time or people. It might take a lot longer. Um, so the weekend this week, at the end here, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. So very passionate time, very emotional time for a lot of people. Um, there's also a lot of learning involved, I think. So, the jump. There's going to be a new task you're going to jump into. Okay, so, tasks at work and current abilities and projects will be leading you into confusion, but you need to write it out using wisdom and experience and resources. So, it might take a while. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of trial and error, and there's going to be a lot of stuff that you... It, it's crunch time. So, it's going to take you a while to feel it out. Um, so, the lesson you will learn at the end of the week is going to be the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is kind of emotional, kind of a lot um, going on. I think you're going to be better at reading people and your in intuition by the end of this. Um, you have a lot of moon imagery in your reading. So there's going to be silence in your forethought. A time for recharging even if you don't mention your honesty. Everyone realizes it if you serve your role properly. In life, good news may come unexpectedly. So, depending on what will happen, there could be good or bad instances in this week. Okay? You do have something like a retreat. 
I don't know if you're retreating from a situation or activity, um, relationship, or a event in your life, a milestone, but there's a, a, a retreat of some kind. Um, there's also a description of somebody. I got somebody who's like pale, they might have creamy white skin, um, a round face, moody, emotional, dramatic, um, they might be a dreamer, they might be attractive, they might also be psychic, and they might also be a very affectionate person. They might actually know what you want before, like, you can even voice it, to be honest. Um, interesting people. But they also can manipulate you very easily, so just be careful. <laughs> uh, like I always say, if it's fall and there's hay rides afoot, if you can't understand the person that's talking or trying to get you to come to their farm, um, you might end up in a bathtub full of ice with two kidneys gone. So just be careful. Um, I always say that because I live in the South and some shady shit goes around um, September and October. So um, let's see, there's a relationship. That stays together because of fear and insecurity could make things tough and hard to move on as an individual. Unfortunate endings. So if you're in a relationship that kind of doesn't fulfill you, it's kind of like very one-sided or like you're in it just because. Um, you're going to break up with this person and it might be to the extremes. Um... Because you might be growing apart, actually. But, um... In some cases, there's a lot of people that if they stay in a relationship too long, it starts dealing with their mental um, capacity to be an individual. And they could commit suicide or start using drugs or alcohol or trying to get away from the situation by self-isolation. So... If you're not happy in a relationship, like, when you see this person, you're not fucking flying off the handle to greet them in the morning. Um, it's time to move on, you know. Um, it's no use stay sticking around when you're not happy or you don't feel fulfilled. Um, your life's too short. So, <laughs> I should know. I I work with cycles, you know. Um, anyway. So, that's all I have for you, Gemini. I'm I'm getting a lot of moon imagery and a lot of apple orchards for you. I don't know what that means. But um just be careful because it is fall. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, crazy chaotic things going on. Have your wits about you. Um and I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourselves, take care of everyone. Um and be aware <laughs> of your surroundings. I feel like a lot of people in this uh, chaos that we're going through right now aren't very intuitive or can read an, an environment um, too well. So just be, just be safe. Um, anyway, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Later. <laughs>